Hello, this is Dwayne Pelster, and this is my wife Nancy, and we'd like you to welcome you to our ranch. This ranch was first started putting together in the early 1930s by my wife's grandparents. We run a cow-calf operation and we summer quite a few cattle for other people. My name is Kyle Graham. I work for the Partners for Fish and Wildlife program. We work with a lot of landowners on uh, grassland, wetland, uh, enhancement type projects scattered around the, the sand hills. And uh, I'd say there's no more productive place for, for cattle and for wildlife than this valley that we're in right now. And landowners like Duane have, uh, have chosen to manage with, with nature and uh, have really gone out of their way to uh, find ways to incorporate a management style that really fits this landscape. Well, I think it's very important to be a good conservationist and I think you'll find that most Sand Hill ranchers are. My own personal opinion, I think sometimes to look to the future, you need to look to the past. Uh, they did things years ago that we kind of got away from and some of it we've kind of brought back. And as, as you can tell from this area, Duane has uh, taken extra care with, with the water resources that he has, a very much of a moderate grazing system. And by, by doing that, he's been prepared for uh, the best of years as well as some of our drought years. Well, we got started rotating our pastures uh, probably 25 years ago on a small scale, even with the deferred grazing, why we never start in the same pasture two years in a row. So the pasture we started in first this year will be the last one we'll be in next year. And in that rotation, that's the pasture that you really see the most improvement in. Because like this year, most of the summer it laid idle and then next summer it'll lay idle until late in the summer, early fall. We've noticed since we've put in water lines and bunched our cattle up more, we have more control over our grass. Uh, the sandy spots are healing up. We have more wildlife, but we're in uh, big soft sand hills, so you still have to take care of them. And uh, we planted a lot of trees uh, for windbreaks in the winter. Well, they're very nice on the meadows because that's where we winter our cows. Uh, Duane has been so proactive, proactive and, and uh, has taken the, the approach where his, his time and energy is always dedicated to, to what's coming over the next hill. And I think that maybe ties into uh, other landowners benefiting from that and trying to stay ahead of the curve. And, and uh, it's, re it's remarkable to see Duane do that on, on the scale that he does. Well, I guess I'd come back to the theory that you've got to take care of the land. Uh, and I think it will help the bottom line in the long run. You might not see it for several years, but uh, I think it'll still come back and it'll make the bottom line look better besides helping your ranch. 